Presents Kimber, Kimber to be married. Kimber, if you come stand across the line. Welcome, family and friends, on this beautiful day. Before we get started, and at the request of the bride and groom. Please take a minute to make sure your phones are off. There's really no need for photos or video. That's what the, the, what the uh, professionals are for. So we want each of you to be present and enjoy this ceremony with zero distractions. 
We're here to celebrate the marriage of Kimberly Jordan McConnell and James Ryan Hamby. We've all come together from near and far. Each of you made it not by accident. You've all touched the lives of these two and they chose to include you to be part of their most precious day. On behalf of the bride and groom, thank you all for coming. Key Largo isn't close for most of us and it took some time to get here. Potentially a plane ride or two, hours in the car with stops along the way. No matter the mode of transportation, I hope you appreciate the journey and being here today in this beautiful spot. Life's a journey filled with lessons, hardships, heartaches, joys, celebrations, and special moments. They ultimately lead us to our destination and our purpose in life. So we all have the pleasure of being present today to celebrate Kimber and Ryan as they found that purpose and choose to each other to continue this great journey together. You know, they've been together for 10 years, but today things change, right? And soon we'll toast to join in, not only these two in marriage, but also the joining of two families. Before we keep going, I just want to say a special thank you to the families for their presence and support throughout these two's lives. Because without you, today just wouldn't have been possible. Each of you played a role, all of you played a role that helped shape these two individually. Mom and dad, you guys provided the raw materials, some direction along the way. <laughs> But all you had an impact, which has made them right for each other. Thank you once again for coming. Thank you for supporting them with love and all the ways that you expressed it throughout the years. It's no secret Kimber and Ryan have been together for a while, right? They met together uh, when they were freshmen in college. Athens, Georgia is the spot. Home of the dogs. Yeah, the dogs. <laughs> and, you know, throughout all the obvious debauchery and distractions of college, they still stuck together and they made it work. I've really only gotten to know these two over the last couple of years, but I know why they've been together as long as they have. They love the same things, the dogs, <laughs> Falcons, the one true dog, Rambo, yes. Atlanta United and sports in general. I mean, how many relationships do you know? <clears throat> where a man and a woman go golfing together. I know it happens, but it's just not the norm. And Kimber and Ryan love playing golf together. <laughs> and even though Ryan can hit it a country mile, he's perfectly happy playing the par three courses with Kimber. Always. That's just the kind of guy he is. That's right. In the world of golf, that's true sacrifice. <laughs> you guys are free to sit down, too. You don't have to stand there. I probably should have told you that. <laughs> you know, sacrifice is funny. Uh, you know, Kimber recognizes that Ryan expresses his love for her through his selflessness. The man sincerely serves. No matter how tired he is or how lazy Kimber's feeling. <laughs> Ryan will go cook, or he'll pick up food, and he'll serve her right on the couch. Yes. Is that not <laughs> is that not the kind of love worth living for? So it goes both ways. They sacrifice for each other and they're happy to do it. There's no I in their relationship. They do everything together. Sometimes that invites conflict. They're definitely not afraid of that either. But that's also something that, uh, that Ryan really loves about Kimber. Her feistiness. He says she's so real as he explains it that you always know where you stand with her. In some ways, that's actually how they met. During their freshman year, Timber was struggling in math and needed a little extra help getting through it. <laughs> and Ryan recognized the damsel in distress and being the selfless, selfless man he is, happily offered his services. <clears throat> it wasn't easy winning, uh, winning her over though. You know, the McConnell women, they can be a little stubborn and hard-headed, in case you didn't know. So outside of needing a little help in math, Kimber actually wasn't even really interested in dating Ryan. 
She refused those advances multiple times to the point he almost gave up, but as Kimber describes it, he was so funny and so confident, and in the end, persistence won the day, and she reluctantly agreed to go on a date <laughs> on game day in fall. <clears throat> After the game, of course, <laughs> she showed up, and so they ate, and Ryan took her off-roading, and Kimber invited Ryan to meet Marcy, and he brought flowers. All Southern gentlemen know the way to a woman's heart is through their mother, and Ryan knocked it out of the park, so here we are. <laughs> so I interviewed Kimber and Ryan individually to get a sense of how they really wanted this ceremony to go, but also to make sure I really understood how they wanted me to communicate their feelings for each other and share that with all of you. And during that process, it was no surprise that these two are absolutely aligned in their values. Their values, once again, tie back to not just what their parents have instilled in them, but <clears throat> what they've found inside each other that keep them so close. And those values are honesty, loyalty, being true to each other, not just themselves. <clears throat> and family is incredibly important to them both. One of the common themes I heard from them was support. Brian encourages Kimber to go outside of her comfort zone. And he connects with people so well that doesn't really come naturally for her, so he brings her into each and every one of his relationships. And that's how Kimber really meets new people and makes friends. He always listens to her, thinks of her. She knows she's a priority. And you know, Kimber on the other side makes Ryan a better person too. <clears throat> she's been there through him through so much over the years that one time Ryan thought that he would just stay at Piggly Wiggly and become a bookkeeper instead of finishing school. And that just was not going to fly. <laughs> so without her, He'd be way behind where he is in life today. And real estate, as you all may or may not know, is not always an easy business, and it was tough for Ryan sometimes. And with Kimber's tough love, that got him through the hard times and motivated him to continue moving forward. He loves her drive, and that, <clears throat> and that in turn has changed his life for the better. And without Kimber, there's no telling where he would be today. So Kimber, Ryan, you're both mature, level-headed, fun-loving adults who already know in your heads any advice that I might share with you. But here in this moment, the dreams, hopes, advice, and prayers for your future all move to a different level of importance because this afternoon they're going to become a lifelong bond, as you're aware. And, uh, you know, life is a long-term game. And there will be ups and downs, no, no doubt about it. Just communicate and listen to one, and one another. <clears throat> Good communication does not always mean agreement, as you both know, but love each other every day. Your love will be the guiding force that charts the course of your tomorrows, holds your world together in difficult times, and will make itself shine bolder and brighter than human beings really have the right to dream of. So, love. So we're going to move on. Kimber and Ryan, I charge you both as you stand before these witnesses and your family and your friends. Remember that love and loyalty will stand as a strong foundation for a happy and healthy home and no, no other ties are more tender. No other vows are going to be more sacred than the ones you redo each other today and those that you give to each other. So Ryan, let me ask you. Will you have Kimber to be your wedded wife? Yeah. Will you love her, comfort her, honor, and keep her in sickness and in health, and keep her only to her as, so, as long as you both shall live? Yeah. Kimber, I'm going to ask you the same questions. Will you love Brian and have him to be your wedded husband? Yeah. Will you love, love him, comfort him, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health, and keep only to him as so long as you both shall live? <clears throat> so Kimber and Ryan, they wrote, they wrote their own vows. And they'll, say to each, uh, they'll say those to each other now. So Ryan, you're the first person to go here. I think you've got them ready. I don't think I'm finding. I know it's not going to be. Hold on. Thank you. <laughs> Kimber, you've taught me that two people joined together with respect, trust, and open communication can be far stronger and happier than each could ever be alone. You are the strength I didn't know I needed and the joy that I didn't know I lacked. 
Today, I choose to spend the rest of my life with you. You have made me the happiest man on earth today by agreeing to share your life with me. You have become my lover, my companion, and my best friend. There's no one else I'd want to build a life with. I get to have you by my side, my love, and my wife for eternity. I promise to cherish and respect you. I promise to care for you and protect you. I promise to comfort you and encourage you. I promise to be with you for all of eternity. I promise to love you for who you are and for who you're yet to become. I promise to be patient and to remember that all things between us are rooted in love. I promise to nurture your dreams and to help you reach them. I promise to share my whole heart with you and to remember to show you how deeply I care for you, no matter the challenges that may come our way. I promise to love you loyally and fiercely. I love you with all my heart. You're my love, light, and soulmate. Kimmer and Ryan are going to exchange rings now. <clears throat> so the wedding ring is the outward and visible sign of inward and spiritual grace, signifying to all the uniting of Ryan and Kimber as husband and wife. Ryan, please place your gift to Kimber on her finger and repeat after me. <clears throat> Kimber in token and pledge. Kimber in token and pledge. Kimber in token and pledge. <laughs> of our constant faith and abiding love. Of our constant faith and abiding love. With this ring, I be wed. With this ring, I be wed. <clears throat> Kimber, are you ready to place your gift to Ryan on his finger and repeat after me? Ryan, in token and pledge. Ryan, in token and pledge. Of our constant faith and, ab and abiding love. Of our constant faith and abiding love. With this ring, I be wed. With this ring, I be wed. I now pronounce you husband and wife to make this the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. James Ryan. Thank you.